Hey, it's meal prep Sunday number one, and this time I made some shredded cabbage with turkey sausage, sauteed zucchini or squash, and some oven roasted sweet potatoes. So let's take a look how I made it. All right, let's start this off. The first thing we wanna do is uh, get to work on the sweet potatoes because we're going to be putting them in the oven and they'll be cooking while we prepare the rest of the items. The first step is to give them a wash. I like to give them a good scrub um, as I like to leave the skin on as I think it's more nutritious that way. And then pat them dry so they won't slip and you'll avoid cutting yourself. Next, what I like to do is cut the ends just because I don't really like them. You can leave them on if you like. And then just to make things easier, I cut them in half. And then that half I'll be cutting into thirds or fourths, depending on the size of the sweet potato. And then I'll be cutting them lengthwise and then into cubes. The point is to cut them into as even um, as you can, so that way they cook evenly. All right, once you've done um, all the sweet potatoes that you need, uh, let's season them. I put a little bit of salt and uh, a little bit of pepper. Uh, of course, uh, salt to what you like. Um, you don't necessarily have to put pepper, but I think it gives it a good kick. I like to coat them also with uh, coconut oil. I put around a tablespoon or a little bit over a tablespoon just to coat them. Uh, so they don't dry as much in the oven. Uh, be sure to mix it well. You can uh, use a spoon and mix it like this, or you can get fancy. All right, so the next step is to line a baking sheet with parchment paper, and let's spread out the sweet potatoes nice and evenly. This way they'll brown better than all bunched up. Set your oven to around 425 Fahrenheit, then check on the sweet potatoes at around 12 minutes to make sure they're not burning. And we'll get to this later on. All right, next we're gonna prepare the zucchini or squash. I'm cutting off the ends again. And this is a pretty basic preparation. I just like to cut them evenly as well. And then just uh, in half again. And if I feel that the piece is too large, then I like to cut it in half. So it's your judgment. It doesn't really matter how you cut these because in the end they'll soften up and they're pretty much easy to eat. Uh, be careful when cutting them though because they are slippery. So once you've finished, make sure to wipe down your cutting board just to avoid any slippage. Next we'll be adding onions. Here you can add about a quarter or maybe a third of an onion depending on the size and depending on, on how much you like onions. Some tomatoes. I like to add around one and a half tomatoes, again depending on the size. And this in the end will add to the sauciness of the dish. And finally a slice of green pepper. Alright so we heat up our skillet and I like to put a little bit of oil and saute the onions the tomato and the green pepper just to get them soft before I add the zucchini. Spice it up with some salt. All right, once the ingredients have softened up, I like to add the zucchini and proceed to adding the spices. The first one we're gonna add is some salt and this is to taste. Just a dash of oregano because oregano is pretty strong. Next, I like to put a good amount of basil, maybe a quarter teaspoon. And finally, some garlic. This is to taste, but maybe again, a quarter teaspoon. Mix well, change the heat to medium low and cover it up. The squash are very easy to make. Just stir them once in a while, and once they start to soften up, they're pretty much done. They'll continue to cook even more with the residual heat. Looks like I forgot about the sweet potatoes. So these are a bit overdone. 
but if you took them out earlier and want to check to see if they're done or not, just poke them with a fork and if it goes through, they're done. Now for the shredded cabbage. For this, we're gonna to need to cut everything in julienne style. In other words, long strands. First up is the green pepper. Now we have some red pepper, some onions. Now for the fun part, shredding some cabbage. To make it easier, I just cut it into sections and each section I'll just chop away into long strands. You can skip the protein if you want an all veggie dish. For me, I like to add spicy turkey sausage. I also like to remove the casing before cooking them. The first step is to brown the sausage and make sure it's all crumpled before adding the rest of the ingredients. Once the meat is browned, I like to start stirring in some of the ingredients, the peppers and onions we cut before. I also add some smoked paprika, about a quarter teaspoon. Very little because it, the strong is very powerful and flavorful. Then I add some garlic and stir and add more of the ingredients. I like to cook these a bit before I start adding the shredded cabbage. After covering it up for a bit to make sure the ingredients cook, I check up on it, I mix it up, I make sure I scrape the bottom to remove some of the sticky fond, and we can start adding the cabbage at this point. I don't add it all at the same time because it's too much and you need to mix it up. It's a little difficult to mix the cabbage, but it's necessary to wilt it down and add the rest of the cabbage. You'll also be spreading the spices at the same time. Once you're done adding all the cabbage and mixed it up, be sure to cover it up so it can help the cooking process. Check up on it in around eight to 10 minutes and you'll see that it's cooked very nicely. Keep mixing, keep mixing. And at this point, it's pretty much done. It looks nice and it'll continue to cook with the residual heat. Ah, the last part. At this point, all the hard work is done and you just have to distribute the food evenly. What I cooked was for two people, my wife and I, and it's one lunch each for the week. So it's less spending and healthier eating at the same time. Awesome. All right, so that's it. That's the final product. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below. To keep up with me, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll catch you in the next video.